Let's make the crumble Biscoff white chocolate chip cookies together. They're soft and chewy and taste just like cookie butter spread. First, cream the softened butter, granulated sugar, powdered sugar, and the cookie butter together until creamy. Now mix in the egg and vanilla until all of that is well combined. Then add in the dry ingredients and the crushed up Biscoff cookies and mix until the flour mixture disappears. Now time to fold in the white chocolate chips. Mix all that together, then using a large cookie scooper, scoop out 10 equally sized cookie dough balls and freeze those for 10 minutes before baking them in the preheated oven for another 10 minutes. Pull them out, swish them around with a larger cookie cutter, and place half of a Biscoff cookie on top to decorate. This is optional, but it's really, really good. And enjoy! Let's make the crumbled chocolate dirt cake cookies together. First, cream the butter, brown sugar, and granulated sugar together until light and creamy. Then add in the instant coffee, the egg, mix again until combined. It's gonna look like this. Then you're gonna wanna add in the dry ingredients. Mix until the flour mixture disappears and blend the Oreos without the filling in a food processor until crumbly. Scoop out your cookie dough, roll in between the palm of your hands, roll it in the cookie dough crumbs and place it on a baking sheet. Gently press down to about one inch in thickness and bake then swish it around with a larger cookie cutter. Now make the chocolate frosting, cream the butter, powdered sugar together, then add in the melted chocolate, a little cocoa powder, mix again until creamy, then pipe it on top of your cooled down cookie. Decorate it with whatever is left of those Oreo crumbs and then top it with a gummy worm and enjoy! Let me show you exactly how you can make the pink velvet crumble cookies in the comfort of your own home. First, cream the butter, granulated sugar, and brown sugar together until light and creamy. Then add in the egg, a little vanilla extract, and almond extract, and the pink gel food coloring and mix until combined. Now add in the dry ingredients and mix just until the flour mixture disappears. Then using a large cookie scooper, scoop out equally sized cookie dough balls, place them on the baking sheet, and bake. Swish them around with a larger cookie cutter to keep them round and let them cool down fully. While the cookies are cooling, cream the cream cheese and butter together, add in the powdered sugar and vanilla and mix again until creamy. It's gonna look like this. Now place the cream cheese in the frosting bag, frost your cookies and enjoy. Let's make crumble inspired Twix cookies together. First, add your softened butter to a bowl, add in the brown sugar and the granulated sugar and the oil and mix until combined. Add in your large egg and your vanilla and then mix again. Scrape down the sides and mix in the flour, cornstarch and baking powder and mix just until the flour mixture disappears. Now it's time to add your chocolate covered toffee bits. I ran out but make sure to add them and fold them in and then using a fourth of a cup scoop out cookie dough and then roll it in between the palm of your hand. Place it on a parchment lined baking sheet and with the same measuring cup flatten it down to about one third or half an inch in thickness and bake in the preheated oven. Now time to make your caramel. Mix the caramel with heavy cream and then microwave in 30 second increments. Do the same thing with the milk chocolate chips and then assemble your cookies. Spread the warm caramel sauce on the cool down sugar cookies and then top that with some melted chocolate. Spread it all around and you can either enjoy it right away or chill it in the fridge. If you enjoyed this, make sure to follow me for more crumble inspired recipes. We're finally making the crumble sugar cookies with the pink almond frosting. First, you're gonna cream one stick of softened butter, one fourth cup oil, half cup granulated sugar, and two tablespoon powdered sugar. Once that's mixed together, add in one egg, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one fourth teaspoon of almond extract, mix until combined, and then add your flour mixture. You're gonna get a cookie dough that's a little crumbly. Use one fourth cup to scoop out cookie dough balls, roll them in between the palm of your hand, place them on a parchment lined baking sheet, and then press them down with the back of a sugared measuring cup. Bake in the preheated oven for nine to 10 minutes. Now let's cream one fourth cup of softened butter, one cup powdered sugar, two tablespoons heavy cream, one fourth teaspoon almond extract, and some pink gel food coloring. Mix until soft and creamy and then frost your cooled down sugar cookies.